hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks for coming back if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer using Corel draw before any further i do let's get started here i'm going to use a5 paper size then change it to inches and these are the images i'm going to use in this tutorial as you can see all right now i'm going to copy the color code then select a rectangle draw your rectangle on the portable area like this now apply any color for now then double click here now click on that one color then paste your color code here okay you will see it then drag it here control page up then click on the transparency tool drag it over here like this to apply a transparent then go to the transparent to blend it i'm using overlay then reduce the opacity this is okay then power clip then drag this one to the middle again expand it control page up then apply your transparent again then it's okay like this then go to bitmap convert to bitmap then apply transparent over here again without converting it to bitmap you cannot apply transparent over here so to apply transparent in a multiple you have to convert it to bitmap before you can apply multiple transparent now i'm reducing the opacity it's okay Then I'm going to copy my text. I'm using the font ray well. Change the color to white. Then position it and reduce the size. Hold your shift key then click the background and press here on the keyboard for center alignment i'm going to change the color to orange color then duplicate it i'm 
I'm typing manual here an online program then I'm using the font here which I will leave in the description that is rats man fonts then apply center alignment Copy your team, select your test to then control V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to this font here. Copy your text, Ctrl C. Then Ctrl V to paste. Sorry, I did not copy it well. Then I'm using the fonts real well. Extra board that is heavy i'm going to close the character space a little bit this way then i will expand it small then centralize it use your arrow key to shift it up then reposition the team I think it's okay like this alright then copy your test again and select your test to control V to paste then apply this color then also use ray wheel font then close the character space and drag it up reduce the seat small it's okay like this drag it a bit then centralize it to centralize it then you click on the test Hold your shift key, then click on the background, then you press C. I just control page up to bring it up. Then copy the date. Select your test to Ctrl V to paste. Then using the font railway, change the color to white. Then position it the way you want. Then I'm going to duplicate it. You can do copy and paste on to duplicate Ctrl D. Then 
then apply proper alignment yeah now they are equal Okay, I'm going to bring the time icon. Then I'm going to trace it, click here, then click on that outline. Then remove the original one. Then you delete it. Then apply color to the one you trace. Then copy your time. Select your, to your test to Then Ctrl V to paste. Apply railway font. Click here. Then to expand the 8 then to 36. Alright. Then reduce the size a bit. Then go to go uh, blur and select motion blur. Then apply your adjustment here. It's okay. Then I'm going to reduce the wideness or the length. I'm going to reduce the length. I think it's okay. Then I'm going to bring this icon, apply trace, then outline trace, then OK. Then delete the original, then apply color to this one. Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl V to paste. Make it bold. Then change it to white color. Then reduce the size. Drag this one back, then to reposition the location, the location of this flyer. This is an online program. Okay, then copy the last one, Ctrl C. Then duplicate this test. That is Ctrl D to duplicate. 
and color draw then apply center alignment then change the color to orange then I'm going to draw a rectangle at the bottom here then change the color to white then remove the outline color then apply power clip to clip inside so this is it now then shift this one up I'm using the keyboard arrow key then shift this one up then expand it first and drag it up this way oh sorry I mis mistakenly make use of the present test so I'm going to replace it back okay So this is what we got. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.